So when you first engage with us, we build a playbook and that playbook includes um, call scripts, um, LinkedIn messaging, uh, email scripts. It also includes obviously things like do not call lists and all the normal things you'd expect to see. But alongside of that as well, we put together a cadence of activity and that cadence is a series of actions that involve those channels that I mentioned before in a different combination and also with different time frames in between them because um, you can have a very, very aggressive cadence. If you've got a massive target addressable market, it doesn't really matter if you switch that market off. But if you have some of our clients like NG, for certain of the products we position for them, we're positioning those only into the very, very largest global corporates. And under those circumstances, you've got to take more of an account-based marketing approach, which means we're going to be putting, pushing into more people within a business to build awareness and, and cross-refer. And under those circumstances, that's when really a, an aggressive cadence is not going to help you at all. So we need to design that for the client, the proposition, and the target audience. That's all done as part of the kickoff process. So we provide a set of documents um, that uh, right at the very beginning of the engagement, um, the client can fill those out or point us, uh, you know, shared drives if they've already got that stuff in uh, in existence. We then consume that if you like and working with your strategic account manager the the person who's doing calling the outreach on you on your account um and and with the client we then come up with that we make a first pass at it and then we review it and then uh, hopefully with the experience of the customer we can um we can bring that through into something that makes really good sense and then we just test the market with it and we do a lot of a b testing um and we do a lot of you know just generally constant change because uh, what works for four weeks won't work for six weeks all the time. So there's a, a requirement as well for us to iterate and to feed back that market intelligence to the client so that they can help us with that iteration yes. process. Um, I'd like to say, yeah, every country is the same, but unfortunately we all know it's not. Um, it, it does vary quite dramatically. Um, most uh, the approach can be typically very, very similar. Um, but certain countries, it depends upon the GDPR rules in that country. So if you take somewhere like Germany, for example, you've got to have double opt-in to do any kind of mar market-based emailing. So there are rules and regulations that affect the way the, 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 the action activities that might happen and the timing between them. Um, and certain markets react better to a more aggressive, the UK market is, is balanced between aggressive and non-aggressive. Um, you know, you get into Spain, you get into Italy, and it's a, it's a more gentle process, typically. So there are nuances country by country, um, but all of our international callers and international uh, sales team, uh, inside sales teams, um, are native, uh, even though they're based here in, in London. So as a result of that, we, we, we kind of understand the markets we're selling into. And of course, when you get into the SFE field sales teams as well, those teams are actually based in country. Um, so we, we've got a lot of understanding of those cultural differences.